Okay, um, this is Johnny Walsh's farewell speech. Aww. Look at that. Yeah. Talk a little bit about his journey. My name's JT, by the way, CEO of ABC's of Attraction. You know, talking about leaving the community. And in my experience, I've been at this for about five years. And there are three types of people that get in the community and then leave. There's the type that they get in it and they read so much about it and they're excited and they, they read the game, they watch, the, they watch VH1 and they, they go out there, but nothing really happens with them, right? And they just build up a frustration. You know, they can't put aside their ego and really take, take notice of the fact that, you know, when you get in this, this is self-improvement. And whatever you're doing before isn't working. And so they get so frustrated they leave the community. And then, then there's a second type of guy that you know, they have their adventures and they get the girl. And I'm looking at him like one right there, <laughs> mythical. He had his adventures. He got, the, <laughs> got the girl and leaves the community. And you know, that's really why people get into pickup. Not actually to become pickup artists, but to get good with women and to be happy. And then you got the third type of guy that Finally understand, they get good, and usually this is about maybe a year or two year journey, going through beginner's hell, and realize pickup isn't the end goal. It's just there to enrich your life. And Johnny Wolf, he's going on to, you know, going off to Thailand to become a scuba diver and other further adventures beyond pickup. Alright? And I can remember, I think it was it's been about two years since I've known him. And at first he was in SoCal, I gave a speech like many, you know, many moons ago. And then he took my boot camp, he became a coach, then an instructor. But first and foremost, you know, he is a good friend of mine. So let's give a warm hand to Johnny Wolf. This is it guys. It's the end of my pickup journey. <laughs> yeah, you know you're right. This, this isn't the end, because I don't know, like I'm I'm a big believer in lifetime learning. And though I'm not gonna be a pickup artist from now on, I'm always gonna be successful with women and everything I do in life. Through the skills that I've learned in this community. That's just, does anyone, anyone here feel like you're a slow learner, or the game is hard? Raise your hand. <laughs> I noticed this trend, you know, and I think that's why most of us have found community in the first place. It's just because we didn't naturally learn it, you know, just through life or through our parents. Does anyone here, you know, fathers or older brothers teach you how to pick up, you know, and meet women? But it actually happens. I mean, I, you know, I, I, a lot of my natural friends, their parents sat them down when they were 13 saying, you know, I decided this is, this is what you do, this is how you meet girls. Or their big brother, their older brother, would hook them up. I mean, I've had a friend that lost his virginity at 14 because his older brother hooked him up with his 18-year-old girl. Big brother. Unfortunately, I didn't have that. And you guys didn't either. And even more unfortunately, I'm a really fucking slow learner. And if anyone here thinks it's hard for them to learn, trust me, I've been doing this for 10 years. And I finally got to a point where I was like, all right, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm okay now, I can, I, can, I can step away. Everyone else, two, three years max, if anything, all right? Now the reason why it took me so long is I started at an early age. I was like, I was in high school and I just started and I felt like something was missing in my life. I, you know, while all my other friends, they wanted to play basketball or play video games, and like, none, you know, none of them cared about girls or dating. You know, and maybe it's because I went to a predominantly Asian high school. Maybe, you know, it could have been a bunch of different reasons, but nobody thought I had the same mentality as me. And I felt like I was like an outcast, or something was wrong with me. I'm like, why does nobody else care? But the ironic thing is, even though none of them cared about girls or understanding them or dating or anything, we were talking to them, they all systematically got girlfriends during that year, during freshman year. And I couldn't figure out why. But I did know that if I didn't do something about it actively, 
that I would never naturally become good as women. Unfortunately, the community wasn't around back then, so I had to figure it out on my own. And it's really fucking hard to try to figure this out on your own without any help. Which is why when I read the game a few years ago, I was like, fucking shit. Like, other guys do this? And there's methods? <laughs> I mean, seriously, like, my mission I gave myself, because I didn't know any better, was talk to a new person on the subway every day to and from my internship. And that's what got me over Proxen Dive. I didn't know what AA was, I just knew I couldn't talk to people. All right. And then, like, I felt like, I'm like, okay, bad, you know, everything's laid out perfectly. You know, it's, this is easy. You know, like, I mean, you know, in three months, I'm going to be a master pickup artist. Yeah. <laughs> right? Did anybody think that remember when you read the game? Yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, fuck, man, this is hard. <laughs> I mean, the truth is, it's supposed to be hard. Because this is life, you know? This isn't like a math equation, all right? A woman is a living, you know, thinking creature, and like a guy is the same way. We're, and we're, it's not supposed to be this cold science that a lot of people make it into. Right? And throughout like my, my pickup journey, I've, I've had a lot of, I, I've been pulled in a lot of directions. Like in the beginning, right, I was like, okay, and he learns magic tricks, and I'll get a girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, one of my biggest regrets in life is learning how to do magic. Because I never got good enough to actually depress anyone. <laughs> but I learned how every trick works. <laughs> so now when I watch a magic show, I can't enjoy it. Like, fuck, man. <laughs> you know, it's not like watching porn where you don't care if you're going up. <laughs> no. So that was in the beginning. And right? I was like, OK. I just need to find you know, the, the best new opener, the best new tactic routine, and then I'll get the girl. So I started reading ebooks and watching videos, and I found the, the cube. And I was like, oh, this is it, man. <laughs> this is what's been missing in my life. <laughs> After I get this down, all right, it's, it's over. All right? So I mastered the cube. I will challenge Neil Schatz himself to the cube. Right? <laughs> I can do a 30 minute cube. It's like, no, like everybody, like, what's the average cube time? Like, three minutes? It takes me half an hour. This whole speech would just be me doing the cube on Jared. <laughs> Whoa. All right. You already? And it was right. It worked, right? But then, like, you know, I would, I would you know, meet a new girl. I'm like, yeah, you know, so have you ever heard of this, you know? Like, I can, I can tell a lot about you in a few minutes. <laughs> like, I want to imagine that you're standing at a field and there's a cube. It's like, oh, I heard this. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, okay, now I gotta find some stuff that people haven't heard of. And I scoured and scoured. Like, seriously, I had like 200 gigs worth of pickle material. <laughs> 200 gigs. <laughs> like, has anyone here read more than 20 ebooks? Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> and that was me, right? And. I realized it really didn't help. Um, and the reason why it didn't help wasn't because the material wasn't good. It was because I was skimming through them trying to find like a magic pill within that ebook. Right? You could take almost any structured pickup, you know, theory out there from any of like the really big, you know, successful legitimate companies, and if they have like a book. If you read through it page by page and actually did everything they said to do, you can become successful across. You don't need 20 books, you just need like one. You, know, you go to Borders and pay $10 for a book, and there's enough information in there that you don't really need more information. Now the problem is, 